Thanks for joining us at Macomb Community College's Career Services. Today, we're going to show you a quick guide to making a resume. First, you're going to open a new document in Microsoft Word. Once you have that document open, you'll want to add your contact information. At the top, you want to add your name and where you can be reached. Make sure you center it by clicking the Justification button on the top here. There. Once you have your contact information in, you'll want to add a space and insert a skill summary, which is a brief description of yourself that relates to the position that you're applying for. To save us some time in this video, I have copied and I will paste some of the items that you see. Next, you will then add your education. When I add that category, I'm going to highlight the word real quick and press Command and B to make the type bold and distinguish it from the rest of the text. You'll want to include your highest level of education. For example, we're including an associate's degree from Macomb Community College. Be sure to include your field of study, your graduation date, and include your GPA and any extracurriculars if you're a part of any. I'm going to highlight an associate's degree to make the type bold. After that, we add skills. Here, you can list off any specialized software or certifications you have. You can also add any special recognition or achievements you have accomplished. Next, add your experience. You will include your most recent jobs and describe your position and what you did in that position, as well as the dates that you were employed and any specialized equipment or software that you used. Be thorough, but try to be succinct and try not to be long-winded. You do not need to include every job you've ever had, just the most recent one or two. Make sure to add your formatting changes here. At this point, we've gone past the first page, so we're going to make an adjustment that will help us format this resume in a way that makes it one page and keeps it looking professional. And we will add bullet points to improve legibility between the points. To add a bullet point, place your cursor behind the text and hold the Option or Alt key and hit the number 8. We will also go through the rest of the document and remove any unneeded line breaks. We will highlight all of the skills that we listed. Then, we will go up to the Layout tab at the top of the computer screen. From there, you will select Columns, and you will select Two Columns. This will split the text on both sides of the page, left and right, and remove the space below it. Doing these formatting changes will allow for the document to remain one page. Once you have completed formatting your resume, you can take a look at how the actual document will appear by going to File and Print. You can also save it as a PDF here. Thank you for joining us at Macomb Community College's Career Services. That's all for today.